Let's talk about India because India has been resilient, especially over the last 12 months. What's the outlook uh, on India from here on? So I think India is one of the few areas where the world can look to to find a source of optimism, investment, innovation, energy, and the right kinds of future investment when it comes to human capital as well. I think the broad scale digital investment and the broad scale investment in education and skills will be critical for India's future growth and becoming you know, the largest country in the world this year. It's critical that that happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the issues that I know that you've been focused on as well is, of course, the widening gender gap. And things haven't gotten better on that front. And if anything, they've gotten worse. Uh, in terms of global cooperation, uh, to move that agenda forward, do you have any sense of optimism at all today? So look, there's been a backsliding over the last three years, and you know, you and I have spoken about this before. It's very clear that gender equality has taken a hit, like many other aspects of human development. The people that were the most disadvantaged became more disadvantaged over the course of these last three years. And that includes women, that includes girls, and there are specific hotspots around the world. Here in Davos, we're actually going to bring together leaders to look at how gender equality is core to the macroeconomic recovery. We have to look at this at a critical economic issue, but we also have to look at this as a leadership issue. Right? If we want to change how leaders take decisions, what types of decisions they take, diversity becomes critical and we're going to have a big focus on how do we get to parity in power.